Uh, today's chemical demonstration is uh, one that I call flammable ice. And I usually like to, again, I've talked about this before, but I love to tell the students not the whole truth. And also I'll make some story up about how I was in Batavia, Illinois, and I brought some water back with me and I made ice cubes out of it, but I just want to tell you, you're so lucky that you live in Franklin, Massachusetts, because this water from Batavia has some very, very special properties. And of course, they'll want to know, well, what are those? So I'm going to go ahead and I said, here's the ice from Batavia. You know, when I'm at school, I'll often talk about our arch rivals. You know, that's the water from the town, from our arch rival. And I would actually put that underneath it. Okay, let's have the fan. I said, boy, aren't you glad you don't live in Batavia? <laughs> and what I would do with this with the students is I would put the calcium carbide on the bottom so they don't see it, throw the ice on it, and go, hey, Let's take a look. All right, so we'll let that burn down a little bit. Uh, now, my students might ask, well, why doesn't this blow up? Well, look at the flame here. And I can get a candle out and, or a Bunsen burner flame. Actually, a Bunsen burner flame is probably better. And show them what happens when you don't adjust the Bunsen burner flame properly. I can run a test tube through it, and it ends up with this little black soot on it. And uh, in the beginning, I think you can still see some. Sure, you can. There's some black soot to come here. And so what is that black soot? That is carbon that is not burning completely. So we don't have a good stoichiometric relationship between the acetylene and the oxygen in the air. So it's burning, but it's not to the point where it's going to explode. So if we look at, our, if we look at the reactions for this, the calcium carbide in the water produces the acetylene gas. And then, of course, when I ignite it with the lighter, then the acetylene burns, and here's the balance equation. And again, you can do this in a lot of areas in your uh, classes. You can do it in chemical reactions. You can do it as a, like, get going kind of thing. Uh, we put carbide in pumpkins and blow the faces off them and, uh, at Halloween. And so there are very many, many, many things that you can do with this particular reaction. And there again, and eventually it'll go out by itself. But here's the thing that's really cool. Because it's got ice in it, ordinarily a container would be so hot that you couldn't pick it up. And uh, so there we have flammable ice. <laughs>